We're Emtech, builders of QTAC fire and rescue apparatus. Follow along as we document the construction of our Type 6 demo truck build. put a super singles kit on this demo truck that we're building. There's nothing novel about super singles anymore as far as in the fire service industry. They're all over the uh, the expedition world too. There is an element of the look of the truck when this kit is, in, uh, is installed and it, it just looks better. And we get much more attention on, on a vehicle when we drive it down the road with this kit versus a stock look. So when you're like, thinking of a demo truck and how it's going to be used, we do want a little bit of flash and that, just being honest about that. However, in an off-road situation, uh, there are quite a few advantages. You've got increased angle of approach, increased angle of departure. Uh, you eliminate the dual rear wheels, so you have less chance of rock or mud or sand getting stuck in between the tires, more surface area on the tire. From a disadvantage side, you're raising the vehicle, so you're raising the center of gravity, and also the tire wear is not that great. So I think it's rated for 20,000 miles. We've had customers get 5,000 miles on a, on a tire that costs $1,000, that's a huge expense. So that's always, there's always gonna be pluses and minuses to this. We chose it because we have a, a large wild land contingent as far as our customers go, and the municipalities we're talking about or talking to, they're looking for trucks that can be used in the wild land urban interface, and they're going into rougher terrain. The Super Singles kit we use from Buckstop uh, we, we order it with the Continental MPT-81. There are other tires on the market that are wider and they honestly, they have less aggressive tread. They look better, but they don't have the load rating of this. So this is, this is required to deal with the load that you're gonna get on a Type 6 truck. It's a 19,500 pound GBWR on the chassis. You gotta have a tire that can handle that. So this, uh, this Continental is what we use. And it's pretty, it's very much an industry standard. Really aggressive tread pattern. The advantage is off-road, obviously you're gonna get more traction, you can air them down a little bit. This is Chuck. Chuck's one of our uh, installers and kind of our key shop foreman and uh, skunk works uh, fabricator. So Chuck was the first one to put on a super singles kit here. Um, so you've got a lot of experience with this, this kit. What is the hardest part about putting this on and what part tripped you up in the beginning? I, the hardest part, I would say, is getting the springs in. Um, they're long, they're big, they're heavy. Uh, it, getting, having to move your axle down to the right areas to get that thing slid in to just the right spot. Yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. And how long does a typical install take for the whole thing, including fender flares and all that? Uh, it, it probably takes a good 16, 20 hours. Okay. All right. So if you're a first timer doing this, you're doing this at home, probably gonna figure in, you know, two to three days for the kit, right. depending on the equipment that you have to work on it. So, right. great. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you. You know, the Ford F550 and the Dodge 5500 are, are very capable chassis and they can haul a lot of weight. So when you start talking about adding a three inch lift and putting 41 inch tires and you know, 20 inch wheels, you, you've got to have a kit that upgrades the necessary components to handle all those modifications. We've used the buck stop on every one of these we've done. There are other kits on the market. Um, haven't used them, so I can't really comment on those, but with buck stop, you definitely get a real heavy duty improvement package. And we've worked with them over the last year and a half to develop some different parts uh, to help improve the kit. So we're gonna get a, an aftermarket steering stabilizer and a few other pieces that'll help the kit come together and, and help the truck handle better as well. 